In this video, we will talk about the type of medication that dialysis patients need to take to control the level of phosphorus in their blood. These medications are called phosphorus binders. When the kidneys don't work, the body can dispose or throw out the phosphorus naturally. That's why patients with damaged kidneys have to get dialysis treatment, have a diet low in phosphorus, and take phosphorus binders to avoid having a high phosphorus level in their blood. Phosphorus binders work like a sponge or magnet. When you take them along with the food, phosphorus binders trap or capture some of the phosphorus that is in the food so that it is removed with the stool and cannot stay in your body. There are several types of binders. There are phosphate binders based on a chemical called Sevelamir, as is the case of Rembella and Rhinogel. This medicine exists in pill form and in powder form. Most patients start this medicine with pills. If the patient has trouble taking pills, the doctor may prescribe the medicine in powder form. There are also calcium-based phosphorus binders, such as calcium carbonate, better known as TOMS, and calcium acetate, better known as FOSLO. In the case of TOMS, this can come in the form of chewable pills or chewable tablets or gummies. Always choose the chewable tablets and avoid the gummies. Tom's in the form of gomes contain, uh, contain phosphorus. The medication called phospho comes in pill form. With calcium-based phosphate binders, there is always a chance that the calcium levels will get high in the blood. That's why your kidney doctor will be consistently checking your blood calcium levels and give you recommendations depending on the outcome of your lab results. There are also iron-based phosphorus binders, as is the case of ferric citrate, better known as aurixia, or oxyhydroxide supraferric, better known as belforo. Aurixia comes in the form of normal pills, and belforo comes in the form of chewable tablets. With iron-based phosphorus binder, there is always a possibility that the level of iron or hemoglobin in the blood may rise. Your kidney doctor will be consistently checking the iron and hemoglobin levels in your blood with the consistent blood test and give you recommendations depending on the outcome of your blood labs. Finally, there are phosphorus binders based on a chemical called lanthanum, such as lanthanum carbonate, better known as phosphenol. This medication comes in the form of chewable tablets. It is very important to remember that phosphorus binders should be taken along with all meals and snacks. Many processed or packaged snacks are high in phosphorus, so it is necessary to take phosphorus binder with these to prevent blood phosphorus from rising. The best way to take phosphorus binder is immediately before the meal or between the beginning and half of the meal. If you forget to take your phosphorus binder at first, it is okay for you to take it at the end of the meal, but keep in mind that the binder is going to have a weaker effect. The strength or capacity to bind phosphorus varies between different types of phosphorus binders. In addition, each phosphorus binder tablet can bind an exact amount of phosphorus. That's why getting a good idea of how much phosphorus contains the food you are going to eat will help you tell how many phosphorus binders you should take every time. For example, you need to take more phosphorus binders with processed meals that are high in phosphorus and fewer binders with not natural homemade cooked meals. For example, you need to take more phosphorus binders with uh, meat on daily foods than with grains or vegetables. And you don't need to take phosphorus binders with fruits because they don't contain any phosphorus. It is important to take 
postpaid binders with all meals and snacks so that it can help you keep a normal phosphorus level in your blood. Every time you forget to take your phosphate binders, your body absorbs all the phosphorus from the meal. The more often you forget your phosphate binders, the higher your blood phosphorus levels may get. That's why it is important to establish habits that help you remember to take your phosphate binders every time you eat. Some of these habits can be Store the phosphorus binders where you normally eat. For example, if you always eat at the kitchen table, try storing some tablets in a pillbox at that table or near the kitchen table so you can see it every time easily. Keep several boxes of small pill pills filled with phosphate binders in different locations. Store some in your car, in your work bag, in your gym bag, so you always have binders with you. Place a sign on your refrigerator or your pantry that reminds you to take the binders with the meals. Use pill boxes to organize the medications for the day or the week. You can send reminder alarms on your phone for the hours you normally eat or download a medication reminder app on your phone. It may not be the exact time you eat, but it can be used for reminder. It is possible that some phosphate binders can cause stomach discomfort, such as nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, or constipation. If this happens, let your kidney doctor or dietitian know so they can give you the right recommendations to solve the problem.